Kia ora tamariki. Today I've got a special friend helping me read today's book. This is Blake. Blake's my nine year old son and the book that he wants to read for you today is one of your favourites I think. Well it will be if it's not already. It's the dinosaur that pooped the beard. Alrighty I'll hand you over to Blake. The dinosaur that pooped the bed. Danny and Dino had nothing to do, so Danny said, why don't we watch some cartoons? But then Danny's mum cast a shadow of gloom. You can't watch TV till you've tidied your room. They slumped up the stairs in the foulest of grumps and stood in their room at the foot of Mount Dump. Tidying this mess will take thousands of years, said Danny, whilst desperately holding back tears. Unless they were going to tidy forever, they needed a plan, a plan that was clever. And then an idea popped inside Danny's head. Why don't we clean up, we, why clean up this mess? You can eat it instead. So the dinosaur opened its mouth like a bin then scooped up the mess and he threw it all in. Toys from the tip of the top of the heap were chucked in and chomped by the dinosaur's teeth. It chewed Jenny's shoes. It could not get enough of teddies and cuddly stuff made of fluff. Dinosaur sucked like a humongous hoover, removing the mess like a room mess remover. Goodness me, he's eating everything up. Vests, pants, socks, and little toy soldiers. Dan laughed as he watched from the dinosaur's shoulders. His fluffy pet hamster, alone in its in its cage, was a, swallowed in the dinosaur's mess munching rage. It smushed the CDs, which on reflection were far from the greatest record of collections. So Dan didn't mind. It all had to go if they wanted to kick back and watch TV shows. In Dinosaur's head, the bed was a burger, as diamonds would look to the greediest burglar. In one dino bite, the bed had disappeared. No mess in sight, the whole room had been cleared. Not one piece of rubbish was left to consume. At Last we can finally watch some cartoons, but Dinosaur's tongue cast a shadow of doom. It was full to the brim with the mess of Dan's room. Look at the size of his puku! Dino was wedged in between the door and the and ceiling. It couldn't believe how full it was feeling. It started to worry, it started to panic, and never before it had been more gigantic. It's like me after all my trips to the fridge at the moment. I can't stop eating. Dinosaur's bottom was bigger than Norway. It was so fat it was blocking the doorway. Then Dan started crying. His nose dripped with snot. They were stuck in their room and the TV was not. Oh dear. No TV, what a drama. With pillows and quilts in the dinosaur's gut, its brain didn't have full control of its butt. If he knew that, th there wasn't a thing it could do. One way or another, it needed to... Hmm, I wonder what it's going to do. Poo! Oh my goodness! The dinosaur pooped more than ever. All the mess that had cleared was now back on the floor. Shoes, pants, teddy, soldier socks with smelly poo lumps filling Danny's toy box. Then saw, then Danny saw the dinosaur's face turning red and knew the next thing to be pooped was his bed. It sprang from its bum with a bounce and a bump right back to its place off the bay, at the base of Mount Dump. Look at all the stuff coming out. All his toys and his bed. The dino, then the dino deflated and unblocked the door where, where Mummy was standing more cross than before. They looked at the mess all around where they stood. They knew they'd be naughty and naughty's not good. 
So they picked up their mops and mopped up the plops that covered the toys, vests, pants and socks. If only they'd tidy their room as they should, they'd be watching TV, not wishing they could. So remember, next time you're in front of the telly, you can't watch cartoons if your bedroom is smelly. Thanks for that, Blake. It's pretty fastly read, but hopefully you get the got the story right. So, tomorrow will be someone different. Saturday, Sunday, do some wire tar again. And then next week, we're having a rest. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.